I'm planning the next phase of projects. This giving me life. This is so pretty. We are on the way to pick up Romeo. He's finally landing. Oh, hello. This project is gonna be a thousand dollars. I did not know that. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. I keep wearing this dress. I'm obsessed with this dress. I'm like, can I wear that dress again today? I think so. It's just so, I feel so cool. Even though it's like longer sleeves, it's like super lightweight and just, I'm, I'm wearing it with sneakers though, because so making it casual. I'm picking up the vlog the day after I left you the last vlog. My dad came back over this morning and worked on the land again um, and finished. So we are finished with the Bobcat a day early. I originally had rented it for two days, but they do it on a daily kind of rolling basis. So they said, whenever you're done, just call and we'll stop it. And then we'll just come pick it up whenever uh, we can. So it may sit there for a while, but at least we won't be paying for it. So we're done in a day. So we saved like hundreds of dollars, which is fantastic my dad just killed it you know he was just like we're getting it done i like that i'm planning the next phase of projects now that the land is leveled we still have to do some stuff but the all the dirt is still there we have to kind of like groom it a little bit by the time you guys see this we you will have seen the next renovation video but uh, i need to start planning that video you coming? we have all the dirt down look at that so nice but we need you know like till it so my dad said go through it with a hard rake and it'll smooth it all out really really well so i was like i can do that that he said that that bobcat was really hard to maneuver i've driven the backhoe before um and he said that was way easier this one was like really an older machine and it was just really he couldn't even really do it like properly like or like it should be done now we'll go back with a rake which is great romeo will be here tomorrow so we can work on outdoor projects together this giving me life Look how much bigger the side yard looks, all the yard, because that fence is gone. Now you can actually see the fireplace. It's not junked up with the fence. It looks so much better. Now we can come back in with greenery and landscaping and stuff and just make it look like so amazing around the side here. Also all here, we're gonna do railings. Stay there, Kinsley. Railings, we're gonna do like flower boxes underneath there. You know, we're gonna like landscape really pretty around the trees and just finish the skirting. So many projects, paint. We gotta paint all of this. We gotta get gutters. Slowly but surely we are chipping away at like just making it. I, did I say you could get down here? She don't mind me, back in the house. I wanna train her that she can come out on the patio but she shouldn't jump down. Well, she actually could jump down after we get the, the flower beds along the front fence line. She can totally, totally, be outside. We gotta go grocery store. We gotta go to the hardware store. We are looking for several things. Stair situation, like a, a built, already pre-built kind of stairs um, so that we can just cover in the decking. We're also looking at pavers because I want to do a paved walkway walking up. I want to get some samples, at least look for them. So we're gonna about to measure how much we need, how much area we have. My dad said that there's a cleaner for metal that you put it on there one day and you rinse it off the next and then it's ready to paint so it gets off all of the um meal meal like it's, i think it's called meal um from the from actually welding it and then also any rust that's developed cleans all that off you rinse it and then you're ready to paint so we also have to pick up paint we also there's a lot that we need to do because that's going to be this latest renovation video that you guys would have already seen so go check that out if you haven't already it's going to be epic uh, kinsley back into house Come on. We're gonna do some measuring so I know exactly how many square feet we're gonna need for the pavers. I want them to come straight out, you know, from the, it's basically gonna be the walkway, from the entrance, from the from the gate, up to the steps, to the porch. So the steps are gonna be six foot. So we know we need it six foot long, so let's determine how long we need it. That's 20 feet. So that would be 120 square feet. You see where I parked my car right there? I want all of that paved as well because that's gonna be like a parking spot in the front for my mom when she comes to my parents when they come. And I also want a paved driveway back to the back so that where I park my, my car will go back there, obviously. Once we find one we like and we do this, we could do that project at a later date. I'm gonna start with the big box stores and then go from there because I've actually seen 
really decent, pretty pavers. Oh, I wanna bring a sample. So I'll put in a few inspiration pictures of like the ones that I really like or the one that I'm kind of le leaning towards. It's kind of like a dusty, beigey concrete, but it has like a little bit of rust in it too. Let me grab a sample of our decking. Got it, okay, let's go see what we can find. We have arrived at our first stop. We're gonna try Home Depot first. Okay, so you guys see how you could buy like the, what are they called? Let's figure out what they're called. Stair stringers. I did not. So you see how you can buy these? I could probably totally make this angle, but you could also just buy them done. And okay, so I just Googled how many stringers you need for a six foot wide staircase, because that's what I need. It said um, at least three stringers are required. Cut stringers should be spaced no more than 13 inches on center. I need some joist hangers too. I'm just gonna be so happy I have stairs. Oh my god. I'm so confident with four. If it's 16 inches on center, that's six foot times 12 divided by 16. Yeah, that's four and a half, so four is fine. Never been down this aisle with all these joists. I like doing new projects. They're not taking me seriously in this dress though. Okay, I think the papers are outside. This looks too much like concrete. Don't you think? It's too like, this is like really rust. This I love. These are $1.28 each. Let's get a sample of this one. And look at these in the shade. Okay, this is our decking. Here's the limestone. And here are the three options that Home Depot has. This is too yellow. This is out. This is the same. This is so pretty. I'm gonna get a few of these and so that we can test it and then we can go to Lowe's and see what they have. Okay, we are at our next destination. So sad, all the, no one's shopping for plants because everything is, it's so hot here. It's, we've got no rain, so everything's dying. <laughs> it's horrible. Ooh, well they have a lot, okay. Holland Pavers Sand Hill. Ooh, 88 cents. There's this one. It kind of looks like concrete though. Like charcoal. That's kind of interesting. This is like a different kind of shape. I don't want it organically shaped on the edges like that. I want it pretty like, I want there to be some calmness to it, like some straight. Providence Small Rectangle. Ooh. I like that it kind of has an organic feel too. Limestone. Oh. Rumble stone. Oh, <laughs> you guys, this is literally what I picked up at Home Depot. <laughs> Rumble stone. Has a lot more yellow in it, um, which is still really pretty. Don't look at this one. Like, just look at those. It's really pretty. So I'm going to get four of these so we can compare at home with the ones we got from Home Depot. Now we're on the way to the grocery store. My favorite place on earth. Ugh. Really don't like it. <laughs> okay, bye. And we're back. I put away all the cold stuff already. I always get worried. That's why I have these like thermal bags coming from the grocery store because the grocery store is like 30 minutes away. You know, so for cold stuff, especially like I try to go to the grocery store last so that I come straight here and can get everything put away because hot outside since a lot of this stuff like snacks and cereal and all of that stuff will go into the pantry obviously well the pantry i'll show you what the pantry currently looks like it's like a no <laughs> it's basically storage for my samples so this is what the pantry looks like which will be a really nice pantry with a plug for the little air fryer microwave toaster thing that we have and it has a light. Oh, it's gonna have a pretty light too. It's gonna be a fun thing to design and organize, but this is its current state. So we don't put any of our snacks and stuff in there. So we've been just organizing them in one of these grocery store reusable bags. It was like over here and it was like hard to get in there. So I moved it over and I was kind of organizing it just to make it a little more accessible. Do you know what I mean? I'll put the cereal back here. Kinsley, are you helping? The only thing on Romeo's list to get was healthy snacks. So I got some Simply 7 quinoa chips, 
I got, oh, chips and salsa isn't exactly healthy snacks. I got pita chips. I don't know how healthy they are. I don't know what healthy snacks are. I mean, I have some healthy snacks in here. Skinny popcorn. Oh, actually, I got chips and guac. I got these Fit Joy Hats Chili Lime pretzels. And I also got white cheddar cheese. <laughs> That's not very healthy. Let's take a look at these pavers. Since I stay in here. I won't pick these until after you guys see this video. So please comment which one you like. They are very similar. And they might come up even more similar through the camera than they do in person. Okay, so this is the two paver options, one and two. Here they are next to the decking, this coloring. So if it'll come up on camera, this one has a lot more organic shape, more dimples on top, and it has more yellow and gray. This one is smoother. It has similar coloring, but not as much gray undertones. Um, and this kind of has some veins of this in it. So now I'll put them over there by the limestone. I mean, you guys, they're very, very close. There's a 10 cent difference between the two. So I'll, when we go back inside, I'll do the math on how much square footage we need. But do you see this gray here? This gray isn't in really this. So either way, really, this is more organic. Um, I like them both. Let me know what you think. Option one was the more organic one. Option two is this one. I think that this one is the more expensive one, slightly more expensive one. When I was at Lowe's, they actually told you how many stones come per square foot. Six stones per square foot. So if I need 120 square feet, <laughs> math. I need 720 stones at minimum. Providence is going to cost $849.60 just to do our walkway. And then the rumble stone, the smaller one, is gonna be $921.60. $80 difference overall because of how much we need. With the sand that I have to buy too, because sand it needs sand underneath, and then the overage, this project is gonna be $1,000 to DIY ourselves. Thousand dollars just for material. I did not know that. I didn't know it was gonna be that much. I was thinking like a cool 500 maybe for material. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways, let me know which ones you guys like. I'm gonna do some research online and see if there are any yards, paver yards around and see if there's anything maybe cheaper. Um, basically looking for less than a dollar per piece because then that can drastically bring the price down. Okay, update, I was on a Googling poll. So I was like, okay, pavers near me. <laughs> and I started actually, I wanted to look on Facebook Marketplace to see if sometimes people have like too much. Like I just said, like sometimes we order overage and I'm like, well, what do I do with the rest of this? Well, we always have like different projects we could use material for. Sometimes people will sell material for pretty cheap. Um, and I was just looking like in the area, but then I started thinking about it. And like the, most of the ones I saw were still like a dollar a piece. Um, some had bulk, but I would have to pick them up. When a big box store would kind of deliver it for a flat fee and it would just be here, I wouldn't have to lift it all. So I feel like the extra cost is worth it. Regardless, I didn't see any um, that I really liked. I think a lot in this area is all gonna be limestone. Well, we are saving a lot of money by doing it ourselves, but are we? So I Googled it. It says poured concrete is technically the most affordable per square foot. However, even though the upfront cost of pavers is higher, concrete pavers offer greater value and durability. The cost, for example, for a 20 by 20 paver patio, now granted that's more than our space, we're just 20 by 6, um, is estimated between 3000 and 6000 Labor can greatly impact the cost. That is crazy. <gasps> that's a lot. You guys, we are, mom's here. We are on the way to pick up Romeo. He is finally landing. He's finally coming. He finally got on a phone. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> if Sorry, we get I'm there, uh, he's finally arrived. He left LA early this morning, and you know, mom's like, "Well, there's an estate sale down the street." Who knew? You did. I know. <laughs> he doesn't even know that we're gonna go to an estate sale, but he, he doesn't happy. even know that I'm coming to pick him up. Yeah, later. no surprise. But he, as soon as he sees mom, he's gonna be like, "Are we going to the estate sale?" Let's are, see if he says we, it. <laughs> okay, there's like a lot. There's like 500 pictures that they posted for this estate sale. So this should be fun. What well, we were number 253 on the list. So we just I left know, me in. I know, 253. We were like, oh, 
You were 253. I was 254. I let you go first. Well, <laughs> I did. Thanks. Okay, wait, where do we pick them up at? Arrivals. Arrivals, okay. Where is he at? Where is he at? I don't know, but these people are... That's okay. He's not. He's probably looking for his luggage, so we just wait. I got a feeling that this could be a little more confusing. Oh, hello. Sales tax. One, 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 one eleven. Like yeah. We should have commented on number. We were number two fifty three. Two fifty three. We slapped in. I didn't know. We didn't plan this well. We were. We had to get in. These are pricey high. Everything that I've picked up is okay. Your world and mine. I don't know what that is. Oh, no. I don't like things that stare at me. Mm -hmm. I couldn't sleep in here. When I was growing up, my house that my mom built, she built these glass shelves with glass doors and everything in my room. My bed faced them. She was going to put all of the dolls that her and my grandmother had collected for me on display. Mm -hmm. I shut that down real quick. That scares me. I don't like things that look at me. That aren't human. You know what I mean? That, that not like, I like humans. <laughs> Sweet for fall. 32 pieces. No, 23 pieces for $32. It is pretty cute. Ooh, Christmas. Aww. Birds, you guys. Okay, I'm putting this down right here, baby. Look for Christmas. I want birds on the tree for Christmas. These are mine. Birds! <gasps> They're beautiful. No. no. Oh, okay. These are gorgeous, though. I guess red for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Pine cones with birds. Bird? Yeah, they're exactly the ones. I bet the decoupage ones. 22. First dibs. These are pretty. You like those for the tree? Sure. I have icicle lights for sure. Check these, baby. We made it home. That was a big estate sale, but uh, it wasn't really that much. We didn't want little trinkets, you know. I got so I got a few stuff. I went back up and go to the last one again. Oh, she wants to go back to last weekend and go back to the one she went to three days in a row. Okay, I want to ask mom's opinion about our pavers. The pavers are relatively similar, but I think when it gets on a grander scale, they'd be quite different. Okay. So these are the two. There's two sets here and then a set over there by the limestone. Okay. So we could look at them. I like this one better. I think that's where I'm leaning toward. I like, don't like the yellow in that. And the gray. Like this has more of the tone of this. Mm -hmm. exactly. Right? So more of a yeah. warm tone. Yeah. Yeah. Option two. Yeah. Well, I think both of these go good with this. Both yes. of them will go. Sometimes you have to look and see where you're going to see it more at. Yeah. You're going to look m more coming in at the front of the house. Yeah. So you're going to look more. at it more in comparison to the decking. Right. Not then really the do. limestone. Once you get here, you're going to be looking at Yeah. And this out. is just a temporary Ooh, gate. Right. Guys. I know. Dad ran over the... Yeah. Isn't it crazy? Doesn't it look crazy with it? It feels so much bigger. You know? Imagine it all grass when everything's not dead. Yeah. I love it. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm all muddy. <laughs> I was outside prepping the fence to start painting tomorrow um, because like we're on the last part of this whole like fence process. So I was putting some metal prep on it and getting you know any of the rust that is on there off. And so it has a really good paint adhesion. <sighs> Look at my hands, I'm so dirty. Um, I'm gonna get, Romeo was really tired when we got back. So I'm gonna get his opinion on which papers he likes. So I'm trying to make the best decision now with just some samples. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys again on Thursday for another one. Bye guys. Kisley, oh my God, muddy outside. Look. Oh my god, it's like...